we have a fires connection in beta already uh, you can get the access to fires connection under beta version 1.0.64 and in this video i would like to show you some of the settings that you need to take care of uh, with fires connection so when you click on fires connection you will be able to see the option to connect here and also the connection settings so in connection setting we have a gateway endpoint for uh, true data in case you would like to uh, opt for the true data feed instead of uh, fire zone data feed uh, for the reason uh, fires data feed does not provide tick level historical data so in this case you may need to uh, subscribe to true data if you want to access some of the tick level is, uh, historical data features like auto flow uh, power trade scanner option surface uh, and so on so in this case uh, uh, you can you can leave this settings as it is you don't have to make any changes here uh, skip loading master file you can keep this uh, setting as it is you don't have to make any changes uh, fire supports uh, these segments uh, with the market data live market data and market depth as well and in this case uh, based on the product you can select the different product they have they have in the case of uh, intraday and margin uh, intraday and cnc for uh, nsccm intraday and margin for nscfo bsc intraday and cnc and nscfo intraday and margin uh, if you want to access the uh, level 2 codes, you can skip this as it is. You don't need to make any changes here. Symbol search mode is kept default. Uh, you don't have to make any changes here. We will be coming out with the updated symbol search in the future. And if in case you have the uh, uh, subscription of true data and you would like to automatically map your symbols of uh, FIRES trading symbols with the true data of market data symbols, uh, what you can do is uh, you can select whichever data feed that you subscribe for true data. So let's assume that uh, you have a subscription of true data for NSAFO only. So only tick this. In this case, what happens is that uh, you will not be able to get the market, uh, you will not be able to get the uh, data from FIRES. Instead, you will get the data for charts from true data. And when you place an order from the charts uh, using this uh, fire symbol, the data will update from true data, but your orders will all directly go to fires. So in case you have a NSCCM data from true data as well as NSCCD data from true data, you can select all of them in case you want to opt for. Otherwise, uh, I think most of you have a data feed for true data. For NSCFO, in this case, uh, if you want to access all the features uh, related to option surface, um, uh, the uh, power trade scanner, order flow, all that you want to link it to true data feed, you can do this uh, for based on this. Symbol subscription rate per second is kept at three sec three updates per second. Uh, uh, FIRES has certain limitations in terms of number of uh, requests that you can make in terms of market data, uh, especially the REST requests that we make. And uh, to, uh, uh, to function our application smoothly with FIRES data, we have kept this as three updates per second. So you don't need to change this unless you really want to have slightly faster updates. But there is a possibility that certain things may not work accurately if you increase this. So we recommend you to keep this at three updates per second. It will delay certain, uh, like say when you open the watch list, it may take slightly more time to update all the symbols with the live data. That's, that is the only thing uh, that will delay. So let me log into FIRES now. Uh, you, you can, if you want to save your credentials uh, and you do not want to log in every time uh, that you connect uh, in a day. So you can select this uh, setting as use saved credentials. Uh, I'm not doing this right now. Uh, let me connect this uh, connection first. I enter my login ID.
and I will get an OTP. This is just like how you connect to Fire's web application. And then I enter my pin. I'm done. So since I've selected uh, true data connection as well, so it connects to true data again, uh, even though you're connected here, it does a separate file true data connection once again within the platform. And it also connects to files as well. So now that I have connected to files, I'll be able to see files connection here highlighted as connected. Uh, this is how it will work. Rest of the functionalities work remains the same uh, in terms of auto placements. Uh, however, uh, Fires also provide uh, a couple of features related to bracket order and cover order. Uh, so uh, you can make use of this for certain segments. Uh, we have also enabled our first beta version of uh, order slicing for um, F, uh, band nifty and nifty uh, so for the freeze quantity so that you don't have to worry about uh, placing multiple orders if the quantity is beyond the freeze quantity uh, so all this we will show you uh, in the next uh, uh, webinar that we're going to conduct uh, on how to connect files so that's it for now please explore uh, and play around with the application with your files connection and if you have any questions, do reach out to us on our Telegram support chat and we are here to help you. Thank you so much.